Hi guys, today's video is gonna be the least well-lit haul you have ever seen on my channel. I know for a fact that I own a light ring. I've seen it not that long ago, but I absolutely cannot find it. I wanted this video to go up tomorrow, so here we are. Uh, we're making do. Perhaps we won't be swatching because it feels pointless. Um, it is six, seven o'clock at night and it's coming up to winter time. This is light now. Also, I've got a new coffee maker. I got one of those stovetop espresso makers. Um, I think I'm sold. I think I'm sold, but I'll keep you posted. So let's just dig into it. This is um, stuff that I've kind of picked up over the past week or so. I did a Boots online shop. I went to Superdrug. I got some bits here and there. Uh, and this is everything that I've collected that I don't think I've shown you yet. I don't do a tremendous amount of beauty shopping throughout the year, but it tends to be around this time that I think I just want to bring some new things in just so I'm not using the same stuff all the time and um, see what I'm actually excited by in store. First and foremost, I'm not sure whether or not I showed you this in the last haul. I don't think I did. Um, I haven't seen any amazing results from it yet, but it's supposed to be similar to all of those kind of acid-based um, body things at the moment. So I don't know if this is, if I've just been slow on the uptake, but it would seem all of these things that we're enjoying for our faces, the like peels and like glycolic acids and salicylic acids and all of that stuff, it's now kind of feeding into body care, which is great, especially for someone who always suffered with acne on not so much on my face, but on my arms, my chest, my back, really, really badly as a teenager. And even now I feel like, like if I get really smooth skin on my arms, it's like, ooh, that's, it's quite something. And sometimes no amount of moisturizing and exfoliating will actually help. So I thought I would pick this up because recently I've found that I've just got some weird like spots, like breakout, but it's almost rashy all down my back, almost all the way down to the backs of my thighs, like all that down that area. And I don't really know what it's about, um, but I thought this kind of product might be able to help. I also bought some spray bottles. I'm realizing now that I didn't show you. Um, I bought a couple of spray bottles from Boots, one to put um, my facial essence in because I think that's a more effective way of applying it and the other two put um, my pixie glow tonic or glycolic acid that I'm using at the moment uh, whichever that happens to be at the time um, so that I can spray it on my body because I want to be able to use it on the areas that I can't quite reach um, and that seemed like the best way to do it so I've picked this up sorry I didn't tell you what it was it's the Palmer's smooths and exfoliates with alpha alpha beta beta hydroxy smoothing lotion so it's the anti-age therapy one it doesn't smell quite it's like imagine if they took the palmer's scent which to be fair i'm not even that keen on to begin with it's a real heavy scent took the palmer's scent and then put like a weird medicated scent on top of it it seems like they did it on purpose and i don't really get it it's not terrible but i can see why people don't like it um I don't know. I'll keep you posted. I'm not seeing any major results yet. Um, on that tack, I also bought myself a new exfoliator. I bought this. Um, I hadn't seen it before. I liked that it was coconut. It's Soap and Glory Buff and Ready, and it said it's scented with Magnific Cocoa. Don't really like it, to be honest. It's fine, but it's not gritty enough for me. The smell is really nice, but it's kind of a paste, and it's just not really as scrubby as I like it to be. I couldn't remember. There was one from Soap and Glory that I loved. It was like was it like the breakfast scrub? It was in a pot for sure. I couldn't remember what it was and nothing really stood out to me as it's that one. Did there used to be an amazing scrub from Soap and Glory? It was definitely in a pot. I knew it wasn't this one, but I thought I'll try this. It just kind of disappointing. Kind of sorbet-like in texture, actually. You know, like sorbet body products. Um, okay, this is exciting. I'm probably gonna do a video on this. I've got the Bleach London Smoky Rose, super cool color. So this is a semi-permanent color. When I went blonder, I partially did it so that I could have some fun with colors again. I'm very conscious that sometimes they don't fade so quickly, um, especially blues and greens, they really cling for a long time. I'll be staying away from them. But some colors also fade to those colors. So I'm trying to keep on the warmer spectrum. And I chose this because I thought, as this fades, it will probably complement the tones that I wanted in my hair anyway, that kind of like warmer, pinkier shade rather than like I thought maybe of going a peach, but I thought as that fades, it's gonna maybe look a bit brassy, unintentional, whereas this I think will look a bit cool as it fades out. And this one was recommended by a lot of you when I mentioned 
wanting to try different colors. Quite a few mentioned specifically this one. So let me know if you would like a video. I might do like a before and after just for those of you that are interested. Um, okay, I definitely showed you this one already. This is the L'Oreal Glow Cherry. I'm really enjoying it, by the way. Just putting it out there, really do like this. Some of these things I've already tried. Um, this is the high highlighter, but it's, it's more like kind of like a primer. It's supposed to be more like an all over kind of thing. Um, it's not quite a highlighter in the same way as a regular liquid. It's more like an illuminator. So I would put it all over and then put on my foundation or I would just kind of put it in a, in a larger area than I would like a really frosty highlighter. It's very, very flattering and it smells amazing. It smells like watermelon. You may have already seen my opinion of this. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. This was very, what's the word I'm looking for? Divisive? Um, I did not like it. I may go back and try again with like primers and potions and only with um, my beauty blender and yada yada with all the prep. But I personally don't want a product to need a ton of prep. If it looks better with the prep, fine. But this was just terrible, unless maybe I did it a certain way. And that's not for me. Um, I still don't know whether or not I actually could make it work for me at this point. But lots of people, I mean, lots of people agreed with me that they had tried it and they didn't like it. A lot of people with different skin to me, because I'm like oily combination, lots of people with dry skin said it was amazing. It just broke up on me and was horrible. And I was so disappointed because I'd seen so many positive reviews. And now thinking about it, they were probably all from people with dry skin. So it is what it is. Um, I got this because I love the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer so much. I wanted to try like a highlight version. So this is a butter blush, but I got it in the color that was the most highlighty. I know I said I was gonna swap, what's the point? What is the point of me swatching this right now? You can't tell anything in this light. Um, but I will show you this in a better, you can't see. You can't see, you just have to believe me, it's amazing. I'll show you this in a better video, but I really am enjoying this. The color that I got was Natural Glow. Um, I looked up some swatches online, this is the way to go in 2020. We can't swatch things in store. We need to rely on online swatches. And that was perfect. Um, I got a little tiny pseudocreme. Do you say pseudocreme or pseudocreme? I always say pseudocreme. But I've heard people say pseudocreme and I just don't know. I don't suppose it matters. Sorry, I want to drink this coffee before it actually gets too cold to drink it. I know it's annoying. I apologise. Um, this I thought was quite cute. The little size for just like little breakouts here and there. I mentioned in a vlog, I'm not super into pseudocreme. So it just sounds weird when I say it. Anyway, I'm not into this as a spot treatment usually, but I did put it on an area where I had used something else that was very dry um, and it really did help. So I don't know, I don't know. I'm not putting it out there as this is, this is what I like, but I know lots of people do like it. So I'm, you know, I'm dabbling. Um, I picked up a couple of palettes. I got this Wet n Wild, I haven't used this yet. The Rosé in the Air, I got this because Alex, Alexa, I think she's Alexa Loves. I always, because she used to have a different name on YouTube. Alexa Loves posted this on her um, Instagram and it looked so much nicer on her photo than it did online. Um, so I got it because when I looked online, it just it just looked so samey. The colors, they just looked, and I mean, they don't really, but this all looked too dark, like it's not gonna be, easy enough to differentiate apart from these colors there like everything just looks the same kind of mid blah but it looked so nice that i thought i'm gonna give it a go so again i'll keep you posted i might do a video showing these um in action as well as several of you told me i needed to try these and i finally found them in um super drug in doncaster i showed you uh, sunday in our come shop with me these are the bite-sized eyeshadow palettes from elf now i mentioned these i got cream and sugar which is like a warm neutrals and i got what is this one? Truffles, which is the cooler neutral one. Um, I could have got the colours, but let's be real. These are the ones I'm most use, most likely to use. I really like that they've both got a very deep, dark brown in there because I would use that in instead of an eyeliner. I could deepen the whole look up with it. I think for a travel palette, these are perfect. Just, I mean, this, I probably would still want a paler colour in there. Maybe this one would be the more perfect of the two. But I just think the colour selection is just perfect. I had just heard they were really nice. I hadn't heard much beyond that. When I posted about it on Instagram, Manny's behind the camera and he's moving the camera around. He has to get involved. Not snoring today, but he's just, oh, he's just started. He's just edging closer and closer to the tripod to the point where he's probably gonna kick it off. 
the footstool that I've got it resting on. Um, one person messaged and say and said she had seen them be compared to high-end palettes and she didn't think that they were all that and they didn't blend very well. So we'll see. Sometimes it is just a matter of expectation. My expectations are very low because they're at a very low price point. Um, but also I've heard good things, so we'll see. Um, I've got a couple of eyeshadow sticks in here because I got really into those pixie ones that I was using. Um, they were gifted to me, by the way. And so I got these, which seemed to be new. Colour Stay Velour Sticks from Revlon. Um, the colours that I got were Cashmere and Truffle. So kind of a warm brown as a base and then the truffle that I could deepen up with or use like in lieu of an eyeliner, which I've been really into using like an eyeshadow or a creamy stick just to smudge out on my eye line. I did that today and it did not last. And let me tell you, the eyeshadow I was using was Bobbi Brown. So sometimes, sometimes it means nothing at all how much you pay for something. Um, the problem I have had with these I quite like them. They're okay. They're not like standout, amazing, amazing. Um, but this, the whole, what would you call it? The whole product out of the middle has just fallen out. And so now I have to be careful when I open it, especially because it's a really dark brown color, not to let it fall on the floor. That happened almost immediately, which is annoying. Something probably happened in transit um, where it broke or whatever, but it, I mean, it's still usable, but something to be aware of because sometimes when this happens, it's not just a one-off. Sometimes it's a design flaw. Um, oh, I, I put these in here. These were actually sent to me. Apologies, I don't usually include things like that in hauls. Um, but I have got the True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. Um, I have, I've used these a couple of times, not enough to really give you any real opinion. Um, she says, having trashed Flower Beauty's foundation after one, one use. Sometimes we're here for a first impression. Some products I feel like you can't do that with. With a foundation, I'm like, yeah, this is not for me. With a concealer, especially something that's supposed to be like uh, an eye cream in a concealer, this to me was was very, yeah, okay. It's a little bit of coverage, um, brightens things up a little bit, but wouldn't immediately go, wow, this is amazing. But because it's the eye cream in the concealer, I feel like I'd need to use it for a prolonged amount of time to tell you whether or not it's really any better than a regular concealer, which I haven't done. Um, I got a few lip things, two of which I'm wearing right now both of which I wouldn't recommend. I got this from Dazzle in Doncaster, which is a really cheap makeup shop. Um, it is a Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner, these twist up ones. I really like these lip liners. The colour is Peachy Beachy, and obviously can't swatch, which is a shame because, again, I know I said I wasn't gonna swatch, but I think you will get the Peachy Beachy. I know, maybe, maybe it's me, maybe I made a mistake. But I thought this is quite a soft peachy pink colour. It's like neon. Now I may actually have some lipsticks that this will go with quite nicely, but it is not what I expected it to be. As with this, I got the Physician's Formula um, Muru Muru. Is that how you say that? Muru Muru? Let's just say it is. Um, butter, the lip. What is this actually called? The Butter Lip Cream in Soaking Up The Sun. Again, I looked online for... Um, swatches of this so that's how I picked it I'm wearing it right now not that you can tell at all because of the lighting but it's terrible this is the messiest thing in the entire world you can in fact do you know what you can probably tell from this this is incredibly messy I it's just like Manny's just walking around behind the camera now it just kind of like all melty and horrid it's like a lip gloss in a stick which is just never ever ever going to work. It's just gloopy and horrible. It doesn't look all that nice on the lips. I'm just so disappointed. I thought it was going to be, well, I mean, do you know what? Saying this now, it's probably not a million miles away from the Revlon lip butter texture. Some were better than others, but you knew what you were getting. I think it's a little bit shiny. It's a little bit more melty than that. It's, it's got too much moisture. It hasn't got like enough friction, enough I think you know what I'm saying. Like you couldn't really get the same kind of thing that you could get with the lip butter, in my opinion, but it's not a million miles away from that kind of texture. And maybe it's just been a long time since I used that kind of thing, but this wasn't for me, unfortunately. Um, the other thing that I got was something I've had a long time ago, realized the other day I didn't have any more, and it is the uh, Revlon Super Lustrous Gloss in Supernatural, which is not supernatural, but super natural. Clever, clever. They've actually changed the wand now. It used to be a thinner wand, which I actually preferred. Now it's this really thick doe foot applicator. Um, it's a really nice color. 
Um, I actually think they might have changed it slightly because I think it used to be a little bit more sheer, but I like it. I like these glosses. I think they're nice. Um, less disappointing than the Physicians Formula one. And do you know, I thought I got more lip products because I was really into that sheer tinted lip thing, which is what I thought the lip butter was going to be on me completely. Um, but it wasn't disappointing. Apparently I didn't, unless they are floating around somewhere because this is like, the problem with not doing the haul straight away is I use the things and then who knows? My card ran out of battery, which just goes to show how well prepared I am for this video. Uh, the last thing that I got was like immediately has become like an essential and that is the Morph, Morphe, Morph, I don't know, Morphe, um, M173 I'm guessing is the number. This is the tiny little buffing brush, let's call it. And I use it just to do these little under eye concealery bits and like I've had a little bit of a breakout to conceal so I kind of buff it in there. Love this brush, I can't believe I've done without it. Um, of everything, this has been a major, major standout. And now my camera's dying. I'm just gonna finish my coffee and edit this video. It's, that's a wrap, guys, that is a wrap. Um, thank you for joining me on this very, very poor little haul. Um, <laughs> I wanted to put it out there because if there's anything specific you'd like to hear me talk about or review, let me know. I think we're gonna just do a few actual get ready with me type videos so I can actually show you stuff, show you stuff I'm enjoying, give you some little mini reviews while we chat about something else. I like that kind of thing and we haven't done it for a while. Um, and it's the best way of me kind of showing you makeup and, and giving you as many reviews because I don't feel like, I can't give you a tutorial. That's not my vibe, is it? Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There's a Primark shop with me coming on Sunday and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.